in Hong Kong, were watching carefully for the effects of escalating tensions between protesters and China's government. The protest movement has shown little sign of backing down from their demands, while China's government has begun a steady buildup of security forces and military units outside of Hong Kong. The question for next week is how tensions will develop, if they will go so far as to cross one of Beijing's red lines, and short of that, if China will consider a more strident intervention that goes beyond the local police forces we've already seen. Mainland police, military police, or even military unit deployments would be a major change in how China is handling the protest movement, and it would have reverberations from Hong Kong all the way to Washington. On August 20th, the next chapter of Italy's political crisis will be written when Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte gives a speech in Parliament that could be followed by a no-confidence motion triggered by the right-wing League Party. The League itself started the crisis earlier this month, hoping that it would lead to an early general election. But things are not going as planned, because the League's former allies are not trying to delay the elections as much as possible. We'll be watching to see how Parliament reacts, if they'll move towards an early election, or if they'll instead play a game of alliances that would delay a political reckoning in one of Europe's largest economies. Did Israel bomb Iraq? The evidence seems to point to yes, but next week, on August 23rd, Iraq's government is due to report their findings on an August 12th explosion at an Iran-linked ammunition dump south of Baghdad. The results are surely to be politicized, because Baghdad can ill afford to alienate the Americans, Israel's ally, or the Iranians, who maintain a large influence inside Iraq. But as it appears Israel is expanding its anti-Iran campaign to a second Arab state after bombing Iranian assets in Syria for years, the risks that Iraq becomes another proxy theater are rising. And another proxy theater means another trigger for a general war between Iran and the US, Israel, and the Gulf Arabs.